Hello to our dear listeners, another day, another episode of our podcast, Atelier. Welcome to our second episode, everyone. If this is your first time to find this gem, you may listen to our first episode where we talked about building your art career, plus how to find clients or marketing, plus branding with, of course, Mr. Verhel Gregorio, who shared about his art journey and making a career out of it. Kianamad, I encourage you, everyone, to listen and support us because I'm sure you can get something to reflect on this February especially that we are celebrating the National Arts Month. Ayan. Now, before we introduce our guest for today, I would like to introduce myself, of course. I am Fresh May Boris, the internal vice chairperson of Bicol University, University Student Council, and I am so glad and more than honored to be joining you here tonight. Thank you so much, Atelier, for the invite, headed by, of course, Hendrix Jules Bernal. So now, joining with me tonight to talk about our topic entitled Challenges of Being an Artist in the Philippines. May I now introduce to you our very special guest in this episode. She is a fourth year student of Bicol University College of Business, Economics and Management, taking up the SBA major in Management, a watercolor artist and calligrapher, a freelance artist since 2018, a calligraphy instructor at Kuti Kuti Summer Art Workshop 2019, Albay Multimedia Arts Convention 2019, and CBEM Heart Entrepreneurship, exhibitor at Afternoon Tea, a watercolor and calligraphy exhibit at Ayala Mall's Legaspi, also a featured artist on When in Manila. 25 local artists you should check out and guys i know you are very much excited because she is no other than miss aryan banakwa hi aryan hello 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 <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Kanina, after several warm-ups, finally, and now we are finally recording this um session for tonight. So, kumusta naman and how does it feel to be joining us tonight for this episode of Atelier's very special event? I, um, I'm super excited but also nervous because first ko tong podcast. First ko tong experience magpa-podcast. Actually, Aryan, we are just the same, ano? Kasi first time ko din talaga tong podcast. <laughs> Hindi talaga ako nagpa-podcast ever since. But because I so love Hendrix, of course. My love for him. Ayan, syempre, anita ako ngayon. In behalf of Atelier Bicol University. Of course, it's an honor to be invited in and to discuss a very interesting topic on arts. For the love of arts, since it's Arts Month and Love Month. Yes, totoo ka dyan. Actually, Arian, kanina nang binabasa ko yung credentials mo, I'm just a bit curious. Ilang taon ka nung natuto ka o discover mo na marunong ka mag-mix, mix ng colors or magpintura? I, I mean, how did you start it? I think lahat naman tayo may ganun na creativity nung bata pa, right? It's just... <laughs> Wala. <laughs> but siguro na, na-rediscover ko siya again nung high school. I and see. And naging, naging hobby ko siya na pagpatuloy until college. High school, mga anong year yun, Ari? Ari? Grade 7. Grade 7? Uh, Parang you know? 12. <laughs> 12 grade years old. Seven. Um, I did not start about sa pagpapaint. So, alam ko yung, ah. we, oh, we, may faces yung arts kasi. Dati, di ba, may mga mahilig sa chibi, may nag-anime-anime. Ay, oo, oh, 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 oh. uh, Art evolves. Nag- Ay, doon ka nag-start. Nag-evolve siya hanggang sa the art that people know now. I see. So, we all started from somewhere. <laughs> ah, okay. Before ka mag-focus dito sa watercolor arts yes. and calligraphy. Parang, you really hanapin mo yung niche mo, yung kung ano yung gusto mong gawin, kung saan tingin mo magaling ka. Yes, so it's exploration. Trial and error. Totoo. Ako, I personally agree with you kasi ganyan din on my part. Although, hindi naman ako yung artist na yung focus ay tulad mo sa mga, ano ba, pag-drawing-drawing or what, or at the painting and calligraphy. Pero sa ibang bagay din, when you're, alam mo yun, then develop yung skills mo and dinanap yung talent mo. Talagang it's a matter, it's 
a phase, di ba? Maraming stages kang pagdadaan and for you to discover kung saan ka talaga pinaka, yung pinaka-forte mo, right? Nung high school kasi I'm very prone to daydreaming. And ah. kahit magala siya nagdududel, ganun. Yung mga ganun. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> so, ayan, maybe we should start with the first segment of our talk and discussion tonight, right? Because this is very exciting and marami din kaming gustong malaman and we actually prepared series of questions for you to answer. <laughs> Here's my first question for you, Miss Aryan. How long have you been exposed to arts? Gano na ba katagal? Simula pa ba ng pagkabata ka? Kasi kanina yung tanong ko, kailan mo na-discover? So, ngayon, how long na din ikaw na-expose sa arts? Let's say, it's the same time that I started na pag So, no high school, parang doon ako talaga na-start ma-interest. Mag- mag- Mm, I see. Okay. Pero yung pag paint paint, I just would like to know mga anong year ka ng high school? Um, first year. Although, first year. Hobbies as hobby lang siya. Mm-hmm. I I started doing this, let's say professionally mm-hmm. or nag freelance ako as an artist in 2018 na talaga. Wow. Oh my gosh. So sana may pag-asa pa ako, Aryan. Meron pa kaya ako pag-asa Miss Aryan. <laughs> Aryan yan. Practice. <laughs> Podcast na lang tayo. <laughs> Consistency. Tama naman. And we're very happy for you, Miss Arya. So, thank you so much. Dahil ngayon, actually, di ba, it's not, it's not, hindi siya, hindi siya ganito. Like, it's a matter of time. Kasi, kahit how long or how short it's been for you to be exposed. Di ba? So, as long as you keep your passion burning, It doesn't matter kung 10 years ka nag-expose or what. Pero sa consistency din siya nakikita kung gaano mo ka gustong matuto pa, di ba? And how much you wanted to explore sa passion mo. Yes, yes. It's okay. You have the choice to keep it up. Like, keep the fire burning Mm-mm, inside the room. Naman. Yes, totoo naman. So, okay. So, for my next question. So, ano ba? What are or is your art styles? Ano ba yung art styles ni Ms. Arian Bonacqua that she can share to us? Arts, I I did not try. Hindi ko siya tinry i-develop. Hindi ko siya tinry mm-hmm. i-hanapin. Mm-hmm. But rather, it comes naturally. Mm-hmm. Ganun kasi talaga. Parang art will reflect who you are. Your art will reflect your personality. Yes. So you don't have to push it or look for it. It will come to you naturally. But uh-huh. mostly, mostly talaga ang mga pinipaint ko is nature, flowers, mga botanical studies. So siguro what you can masasabi mo about that to me is uh, about me is siguro mahilig ako sa nature, sa flowers, uh-huh. ganyan. That's very lovely to hear. Parang refreshing yung style and yung porte mo din kung saan mo gustong gawin yun. Ano paano mo gagawin siya? I actually have a cousin also who paints. Iba-iba talaga, as I can see. Kasi siya, it's usually... It will it's, really reflect who you are. Totoo. Siguro kapag nag-painting din ako ng flower-flower, ang kaya ko lang isang color lang. <laughs> Tapos kailangan pa sa akin merong ano, may guide na. Yung meron ng talaan sa likod. <laughs> Anyway, we'll move on to my next question because I don't want to make this very long. It's just about myself, you know. <laughs> so this is my third question, Miss Arian. If you can describe your style or styles in three words, what would it be and why? Yes. So I think I did describe ko yung art ko in three words. It's going to be positive since mm-hmm. I want to bring positivity sa mga tama mm-hmm. kita ng art ko and alive because for me it makes me feel alive and hopefully when people see it so, somehow sana ma-translate ko yung feeling na yun towards mm-hmm. sa iba since they believe nature very they're alive so parang yes. i want them to feel that sa art ko din and then lastly is nakalimutan ko yung naisip ko lastly <laughs> That's the fine. connection connection yes i want to build a connection between me and my art and wh- I want to build a connection between my art and other people and <coughs> in that in that sense to build a connection naman between me as an artist and the people who see my art. <coughs> Totoo naman. So the three words are positive, alive, and connection. Yes. It's really very meaningful. So if I would just ask you, follow up question lang doon. In every artwork ba that you do, Miss Aryan, dahil sabi mo nga, 
gusto mong makapag-express, may meaning yun, may in-depth meaning pa yun kung bakit yun yung nagawa mong art. Usually ba, when you are doing an art, ano ba yung pinanguhugutan? Is it your feelings or other people's feelings? Meron ka bang pinanguhugutan na storya mo or it's the kwento of ibang tao? It's more on um, feelings and experience experiences being alive. Mm-hmm. Uh, our our it, you know because it's a pleasure to be alive. It's an it's a it's a pleasure to be alive and experience the, mm-hmm. the world and the wonders in mm-hmm. this in this earth. You know, uh, I have because I'm very fascinated with nature. I have this appreciation to the smallest details. Mm-hmm. from with flowers and leaves, the smallest details, even some ma- mushrooms and all that. You know, na I na napapansin ko siya. Napapansin ko yung mga lahat-lahat ng details nila. So from that, you know, just ob- just by observing nature, we actually have we will actually learn a lot from them that we can apply to our life. Like the natural cycle of life, the rebirth, the death it's it's all part of a cycle and ma-apply natin siya sa life natin. So, yun parang yun din ako ng ako, you know. Parang i- I like relating my life, my feelings, my experiences into the nature kasi we are part of nature. What I can feel and see right now from you Miss Aryan is that you see life as a very colorful one and one thing that I admire about you is that how you see things how you appreciate and value it on your perspective So siguro eh, let's move on for my next question What makes your art unique Miss Aryan Ano ba yung kakaiba and do you consider art as your own comfort or as an important part of your life it's because it's mine it's it's something that comes from me it's genuinely um something that 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 comes from my heart my brain mm-hmm. my soul i put my i put everything into it when i paint so that is something that nobody else can replicate even though they try let's say they try to recreate my paintings mm-hmm. it would not be the same because um the the process or the thought behind making it is going to be different so that's what makes my art unique or or that's what makes any art unique because it's made by the artist it, who is unique in her in in themselves yeah as i can see art is a way of expressing and channeling what your soul wants to exude what you want to put out into the world yes exactly so for the second question ulitin ko lang no do you consider your art ba as your own comfort or as an important part of your life yes it is very important in my life since mm-hmm. um i use it as a form of self expression and Mm-hmm. Um, transformation, you know, translating ideas into reality, um, transforming, let's say, emotions into something that I can see, and all that. And it's a very therapeutic process for me, like from seeing something in my head and then seeing them slowly come into reality in form of in paper or mm-hmm. in different kind of in in other medium. So it's. It's very important for me. All right, everyone. So now we are on the second part of our talk tonight. Again, with Miss Aryan Banakwa, we are tackling the topic challenges of being an artist in the Philippines. Right? Do we naman natin tong medyo boy abunda style? <laughs> we would like to do some fast talk for tonight. Pero wala tong. Hindi naman ano ko yan na. Hindi naman. Hindi naman siya nakaka ano ba? Bagabag. Hindi naman siya. This is family na- friend. <laughs> yes. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. So, so my first um, question, not actual question, pero you have to pick one: Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. Morning person or night owl? Morning person. Introvert or extrovert? Introverted. Colorful or grayscale? Colorful. Sketching or painting? Painting. <laughs> Planned or spontaneous? Spontaneous. Movies or series? Movies. Original concept or with references or fan arts? 
original concept. Wow. Coffee or milk tea? Milk tea. <laughs> Ayan. Work abroad or stay in the Philippines? Depende sa election. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, okay, so that concludes our second part of our talk. At this juncture, it is now the time for us to ask her the last set of questions. So, my first question, Miss Aryan, my first question will be Were there times now you find it hard to find inspiration? Um, you know, uh, it definitely happens, it's normal. I think mm-hmm. wala na bang artist na makakasabi na they're always inspired they're always mm-hmm. on the go sa pag-create. We can't expect trees and flowers to bear fruit every season or bloom the entire year. We cannot expect us as artists to always be able to you know be inspired and produce and make art all the time. May time na I don't feel inspired to make art. Siguro it's also a phase to say na din no kasi hindi naman all the time talaga ay nasa ano ba condition din tayo, 'di ba? Yes. So, Although ano sometimes it as an artist especially if you're doing it Uh, as your job or you're making money from it, it does get frustrating kapag hindi ka inspired. But I think for me, the key is to not get frustrated, no? Uh, sa mga fellow artists ko dyan na nakikinig, uh, when you feel uninspired, don't get frustrated or don't push yourself too hard. Acknowledge that it is normal. Even the greatest artist nagkaka-experience naman ng ganun. It is part of the process naman kasi, di ba? Yung highs and lows. Yes. Siguro for my follow-up question na lang, since we are talking about inspiration, what are the things that Miss Aryan usually do when you are in this kind of situation? Since I am very inspired by nature, so what I do when I lose inspiration is I ground back to nature. I reconnect with nature. Um, sometimes, may lika sa yung family namin mag go on hiking or mag trekking. So that's what we do sometimes. It's very nice to hear, ano? Dahil as an artist, lalo na kapag yun nga sinabi niya for a living, hindi naman hindi tayo kailangan hindi dapat tayo maging frustrated kasi it might also affect the way we work, de ba? Mm-hmm. Sa mga susunod. So as much as possible. We have to still be positive and look for other ways for us to continue effectively. Shempre, because yes. maga spark naman yan ulit. Eh. You just have to step back and mm-hmm. maybe take a rest. Don't yes. push yourself. Rest your brain. Rest your creativity. Mm-hmm. Rest your hands if you're painting or you're sculpting or any other form of art. Um, it's usually called kasi when as artist it's kapag nalulus ka ng inspiration tayo tawag siyang art block or creative mm-hmm. rot. Um, I would just like to say na let's change the perspective. From now on we're going to call it creative rest. No longer creative rot. Diba? Para okay. ano natin? Positive reinforcement. Kasi pag sinabi natin creative rot um Parang there's so much negativity surrounding you losing inspiration. So mag put tayo ng positive re- reinforcement and call it instead na creative rest. Alisin natin yung creative rot sa vocabulary natin. Na parang as if na bubulok na tayo as an artist niyo. <laughs> Hindi naman Totoo. Ganun. Totoo. We just needed to take our time as well, minsan. Because we are still humans after all. So, lahat naman tayo kailangan mag-take ng breaks. Dahil sabi mo nga, palitan natin yung word from the phrase creative rot. Gawin natin siya instead na creative rest. So, ayan. Ang ganda lang ng mga learnings. And I hope to you all the listeners tonight, ganun din yung nafe-feel nyo. Dahil marami ako natututunan <laughs> just conversing with, with Miss Aryan tonight. So, siguro, let's present Proceed to my next question. No, Miss Arin, I'm just curious as well. Was it hard for you to market art here in the Philippines? Since we are talking about the challenges nga of an artist here in the Philippines, no, mahirap ba? Um, I would have to, I would have to say na I am in a very lucky position. Nung mm-hmm. nag-start out ako, kasi first of all, I've I've had I have a very supportive parents who just let me do what I want, and then I owe a lot of my my confidence and my growth as an artist to the local community here in Legazpi. Uh, way back in 2018, when it was on, only starting, I met a lot of people who really pushed me to pursue this path. The creative community in Legazpi is nag-grow na siya ngayon. 
Ang dami ng well, ang dami ng mga new artists na parang na inspire sila because they see a lot of other people. Oh, uh, if you're familiar sa Ayala yung mga art fairs sa Ayala. Yes, mm-hmm. mga exhibits. Yes, yes. So parang doon nag-start and then a lot of people mga ibang na invite, tapos nag na yung uh, community. A community, yun yung naging support system. Yung sa second question mo, how was the support system? The community became the support system. Na very healthy yung dynamic, very healthy environment. Walang nago. It's uh, more on collaboration la- rather than competition, which is very important para magthrive yung community. And it is built upon the com- the foundation of our common interest and collective passion for the art. At the same time, I met people then who told me that I inspired them to pick up that brush again or paint again or try calligraphy. And I think that's very, you know, touching as an artist that you were also able to um, influence or not influence, touch, touch and inspire another person. Parang ang dating niya sa akin is that you have also to find your right circle yes. that will help so, you thrive. Surround yourself with the right people. Taka at the same time. Um, just by you, like me as an artist, being a part of that community. There's my other people. Na, let's say outside of that community, na kita ako na para na to thrive within that community. It's very welcoming, kasi so parang uh, other artists na siguro nung start ni hiya pa parang naggrow din sila into confidence in their art and be part of the community. So it's it's been growing. Mm, so you have to find people who will inspire you more. Do you feel pressured na you have to keep up with your talent? Like, you need to create better artworks after making a great masterpiece? May it because of the surroundings or etc.? Um, yeah, of course. I think that pressure doesn't really go away. I think it mm-hmm. is inherent sa naman in every artist, not only sa painter. If you're like passionate about something or you, if you're practicing your talent, hindi yun maalis yun na pressure niyo yun. Unless you let it, you let it paralyze you. That's when you know you need to loosen up a bit when it starts affecting you negatively. Again, it's a matter of resting and understanding your situation, right? Sana to our listeners who are, you know. Joining us tonight, you also share the same vibe that I feel ko ngayon. So, maybe let's move on to the next question. Dahil, I'm really curious. Ang daming mga points to ponder. I'd like to add something pa doon. Okay, if you'd like to add something, sige, sige. Um, yung pressure kasi, I think we also need to look where it's coming from. If, nag, na, if external siyang pressure, I think yun yung type ng pressure na you shouldn't let yourself be affected. If like nape-pressure ka because gusto mo maging better than someone else or nape-pressure ka kasi you feel the need to keep up with a trend na nagta-trending na hashtag like sa Instagram for example, that type of pressure is the type na huwag ka magpapa-affect. But if the pressure is coming from yourself as an artist, din kasi yung pressure na di ba magpapa-improve sa'yo. So listen to that Listen to that pressure if it's from yourself, uh, in from a healthy place, no. Hindi yung um, pressure from other people or from other external factors. Pero along with realizing and acknowledging your feelings toward the, towards your art and how you are doing currently doing it, siguro kailangan din natin respect mo na and give time and. Kaya anda yung sarili to explore pa, right? Mm-hmm. So ganun siya. Ayun. We move on to my next question. So, do you have any experiences ba where people doubt your talent in art? Meron ako ditong uh, medyo nakakatawang story. I'm putting myself out on blast here. <laughs> medyo exposed ko siya. <laughs> Kasi <laughs> Um, so when I did that exhibit sa Ayala, it was a month long exhibit na sa ground floor siya ng Ayala. And may mga days nun, after nung opening, for like example, after class, sumunta ako dun sa exhibit area and walk around. So, nagtitingin-tingin ako ng art, like it's not mine. Tapos, um, I 
can't help but nakakarinig ako ng mga conversation ng mga tao. Siyempre, hindi naman iwasan there are people na nagugustuhan and it's very like flattering. O kinikilig ako inside, hindi ako nagpapahalata na narinig ko silang nagagandahan nila yung exhibit. But there was one time na nakatabi ko, I'm not sure if they're listening, but naka-uniform. I'm not going to say what school then. <laughs> but, um, one, may nag-comment na isa, sabi, ganyan lang, tapos 3K. It's like, nagulat ako noon. <laughs> I was, I was shocked. Tapos napalingon ako sa kanila, tapos napalingon din sila sa akin. Although they didn't know na uh, I was the artist. Although na-shock ako, kasi syempre, it was, it was my exhibition. Pero, at the same time, I understand din naman kasi sila. Kasi if there's a lot of, still a stereotype, Kapa in art, de ba? A lot of people still don't understand the real value of art and what it really takes to create one. Inintindi ko na lang yung position that not everyone understands my art. Not everyone will really see the value of my art, and but that doesn't make me any less of an artist, right? <laughs> Grabe yung ano, yung grounding. <laughs> to our listeners, you know, we can do it as well. Kasi just hearing this story right now, ano ba, I'm gonna laugh about the situation kasi nagkatinginan sila nung nag-comment or I'll be sad about what I've heard. Para sa akin lang, on my end, siguro, um, if you are a person who does things really creatively, Siguro you get also to understand how tiring it is and at times how exhausting it is for you to come up with that idea and ilabas yon by the way of art and mas pagandahin pa yon, ba? So just imagining the effort that Miss Aryan poured doon sa art. Yeah, really just saddens me to hear this. It doesn't make you less of a person and as an artist. Although we we have to hope that na man, some sana someday people will actually grow to see the value of art and the importance of art. Na hindi siya lang. Siguro ayon na sad lang at mayo na dalalang din ako <laughs> kasi hindi lang siya ganon lang eh. I value it more. Medyo nakakasad lang. Pero anyway, let's move on to the next question. Para hindi naman tayo makagive up ng really malungkot na vibe tonight. Anyway. Para hindi negative. Mm-mm. It's just a matter of sharing din naman from Miss Aryan to our listeners. So, ayun. If you feel the same way, at least, ayan, sa mga nakikinig ngayon, to know how to address it as well. Pero don't forget to adjust it at your own pace and time kung paano mo din siya i-acknowledge. Diba? Basta siguro don't take it personally, no? Don't take it personal Totoo. na parang magagalit ka dun sa person for not understanding. Totoo. Totoo. Tama yun, Miss Ariad. But although nasadun din talaga ako nun. Mm-mm. Nasadun din ako syempre nun. But I have to not let it affect me very negatively. Mm-mm, totoo. Let's move on to the next question. For our listeners, kung available yung comment section, <laughs> wow, ano to? Live. Or post sa, oh, live. Anyway, for my next questions, ayan, follow up then ulit doon sa unang question na itinanong ko, no? Have you ever, kung meron kang ganong feedback na narinig, eto naman yung another question ko, Ms. Arian, dahil parang rampant din itong nangyayari, no, just sa isang area ng artistry, no? Pero sa ibang, ano din, sa ibang mga aspects din, sa ibang mga klaseng arts din. Have you, as an artist, Ms. Arian, have you ever or also encountered people or someone who asks for free artworks <laughs> it happens <laughs> it happened and it happens mm-hmm. but less so na recently siguro nung mga earlier years kahit pa joke people mm-hmm. say that to me but recently medyo hindi na ganun so may uh, siguro kung kanina na sudden tayo dun sa narinig sa kwento mm-hmm. siguro ngayon naman let us acknowledge naman yung improvement naman ng mga tao because I think people are slowly realizing na din naman the um, reco- yung reco- na-recognize na din nila yung mga artists and yung talents nila because um, I've, I'm also taking commissions din kasi sometimes. So, people really parang they are now more willing to pay for an art kesa dati. Now, people really assume na you can do it for free. So, there's been an improvement. 
parang may nabasa nga lang din ako. It's a joke from a post sa, sa social media. May nabasa ako, Miss Arn. I don't know if you also read this, no? Or nadaanan na din sa feed mo. <laughs> Kasi parang may joke doon na nagtatanong yung customer kung magkano. Tapos renate siya ng gano'n na amount. Tapos... <laughs> nagreklamo yung customer kasi ang mahal daw. Tapos, tinanong siya nung gumagawa, meron ka bang gantong um, gamit na pwede may provide sa akin? Wala daw, ba diba? Tapos, parang in the end, yung ano doon, yung naging bottom line is that napakaraming gamit and nakapakaraming investment na kailangan mong gawin and effort and skill pa as a person for you para lang maibigay yung product na yun, diba? Oh, tsaka when you're buying an artwork kasi, you're not just buying the materials that they use. Yes. It's more than just the paint and the paper. Ito. You're also paying for like the talent, the time. The artists also share their feelings doon sa art. So, napaka significant and actually it's to lang priceless eh cannot be paid by any amount yung arts na especially natin. if it's original totoo kaya siguro syempre practically speaking lang kasi for living then sometimes kay magagamit din talaga yung art pero to be to be honest lang talaga art is really priceless so no amount of money can really buy that it's so expensive that you can say na you can't really afford it kasi it came from the heart ayan so thank you for that answer Ms. Arya. Now we move on to the next question. What are the other challenges of being an artist especially here in the Philippines? Ano ba yung na-experience? So, wow, parang nag-migrate na ba tayo sa ibang bansa? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, how, how does it feel here in the Philippines? So, aside from dun sa ano, di ba yung halos monetary yung na pag-usapan natin? Yung the lingering judgment around art or a creative career that there is no future, real future in it or there is a very slim chance of succeeding. Even though, um, although over the years, we are see- seeing a lot of improvement ng- on people's perception and appreciation in the arts and design, there is still that judgment surrounding creative people. But also, we are seeing diba, a lot of people buying naman from art fairs. See- we see them um, supporting artists maybe in a form of like like following them on their art accounts sharing their posts the art scene is changing na over the years well it's well it is still there yung challenge sa pagbattle ng judgment being an artist it i think it is easing easing up a little bit na okay so miss arian talking about that judgment no what specifically ano specifically yung mga judgment is it something to do with the stigma with the artist um yung yung judgment na ano yung like there's no future like parang Ayun. judgment na parang sinasayang mo yung time mo your effort yes. sa pag sa pag paint paint mo parang ganun acknowledging that talagang totoo na ano natin na validate na hindi naman sana validate like na verify natin na it's really existing that kind of judgment diba and it really saddens me to hear that from you yes. with that kind of stigma that people have towards the artists diba and then so, for you know. to fight fight that judgment para makakontinue ka practicing your art totoo it really takes a very strong and strong willed artist para malabanan yan and to go on with creating more Arts. Yes, there is definitely still a lot of work to do regarding mm-hmm. sa preconceived judgment na yun. Even mm-hmm. though nagbabago na nga yung ano, yung mind, yung perspective, but there is still a lot to do. Mm-hmm. But but also at the same time, we need to acknowledge the up improvement then. Mm-hmm. And how far the creative community have come. Now. Totoo. I can also feel that kasi noon parang very close din talaga yung minds ng other people how they view things eh on para sa part ng mga artists natin but I'm glad I also feel that way and as inikita ko din how they get to value it more than before yes. diba? so okay. even for businesses the- and um, big companies diba they're uh, appreciating yung mga graphic designers mm-hmm. like that so there nagkakaroon na rin ng opportunities for more opportunities for creative careers and creative people. Siguro follow up question ko lang no Miss Aryan. Doon sa itinanong ko for you Miss Aryan, what hinders artists in showcasing their talents? Ano ba yung hadlang usually? 
I na nakakausap ako ng mga ibang artist and um I in encourage ko sila to share their arts no and ang karamihan and ang pinaka pinaka common na sagot is nahihiya ako nakakahiya or something along those lines so yun yung I think pinaka nakahinder sa mga artists to showcase their, their art is because they um nahihiya nga sila but beyond that hiya let's try to dig deeper bakit tayo nahihiya no um you know what i think <laughs> i think there is like so much internalized shame that i don't understand why and where it comes from kasi personally ako i have felt that way then yung shame surrounding being a creative and even though i have moved past that nahihiya ako face kasi I have been sharing my art for a couple of years now. There is still definitely a moment na nakikrip back in yung feeling na yun. So, it might be because yung external factors like yung judgment nga na na-mention natin kanina or yung expectation from other people. But it is still a huge question to me. Why is like being an artist or to be creative as, as your personal expression is kind of ikinahihiya? Like, as if having a passion or or like finding that thing that you love to do and something that is very fulfilling to you is something to be ashamed of. As if as if being passionate is shameful, because it's because it's not. No, even though it's not, we know that it's not something that we should be ashamed of. Yung passion natin, we should be proud of it. We should embody body it. But we cannot deny sometimes. Talagang nakak nahihiya tayo. And we often admire those who are unapologetically passionate. So we just, I think, uh, yung mga artists, we just, and yung other artists, I think we just have to move past that feeling of shame and yung nahihiya in order for us to showcase and show and share and tell what we can do through, through our arts. It's a phase, especially when you are just starting to do your kung ano man yung focus or forte mo na gawin na art, right? You have to get through it and you have to take your time. Yeah, tsaka, um, you, I don't think you will fully get out of that phase din naman kasi for me, so, sometimes nagkikrip back in yung feeling yun na nahihiya. Nahihiya mm-hmm. or am I really doing the right thing? But I think we just need to keep in mind that we are allowed to occupy space, our thoughts and our feelings are valid. The things that we want to say deserves to be heard. The things that we mm-hmm. want to create deserves to be seen. Mm-hmm. Like that, we have to honor our creativity by creating and showcasing it, showing it to other people. And maybe that way, di ba, maka-inspire din tayo ng others na do it themselves then. So don't, like, don't be ashamed kasi there's nothing to be ashamed of it. Like, embody your most creative self and present it to the world. Oh, wow. Embody yourself and present it to the world. I like that quote. Maybe before I sleep tonight, I will be thinking about it again. Affirm, affirm, affirm. Self-affirmation after all, the ba? Really effective tool in making yourself push and continue. True. Okay, so thank you for that, Ms. Arian. Uh, rinig ko din yung sentiments mo in this question. So, to ask, ito na lang yung huling question ko for tonight, no? Last question. Ano bang... Yes, last question na finally, Miss Orion. Ito na, what are the misconceptions? Actually, kanina parang nadaanan natin to, pero we can, maybe we can enumerate this right now. Elaborate what, more. Yeah, and elaborate more. What are the misconceptions about artists or about making artworks that you want to address? Like example, na madali lang ang paggawa ng artwork, na drawing-drawing lang yan, or that art has to be always pretty or aesthetic or etc. Ano yung mga gusto mong i-point out doon sa misconceptions and papaano mo siya i-address? And how will you be able to help since the mention na natin kanina na daanan na, e, let's go back to that. No, the let's talk about the real value of art. Um, 
you've also said it na din naman kanina na it is intangible it is priceless na walang makakatapat talaga sa kanya although this is you know this is one thing that is very difficult to grasp especially if the person is not a creative themselves um let me like let me share this one story that i've heard if sana tama ko siyang marelay this was about Pablo Picasso Picasso uh, he was daw nasa Paris market daw siya that time i don't know if this is real but nabasa ko lang siya sa internet <laughs> sabe um an admirer ad- approached him daw and asked if he could do a quick sketch on paper on a paper napkin so like agree siya nagpaint siya ay nag sketch siya promptly created the drawing and binigay niya dun sa lady na nag-ask ng sketch and then dun niya sinabi na uh magbabayad yung lady ng a million francs and the lady was like shock na shock yung babae na how can you ask for so much sabi daw it took you 5 minutes to draw this in which sumagot si pa- Picasso dun na no it took me 40 years to draw this in 5 minutes. Like that totoo yun. Like that was true because it's not about how how fast or it's not only about the time that the artist did it. How expensive the materials na ginamit since nga 'di ba? Paper napkin lang naman yung pinain din drawing ni Picasso. It is it cannot be measured sa materials, it cannot be measured sa hours that it took them to finish the piece. Kasi art naman is not only about not only about yung basic form niya, but it is about the artist and how much effort and time the artist put into his work or his his or her work. So when I re- reiterate ko lang siya nung sabi ko kanina when you buy an artwork you're not just paying for the materials or the time you're also paying for their talents and the skills and all the years that it took them to master and create the art that they are creating now so for example you might be looking at a painting that is dated January of 2022 but in reality in order for the artist to create that quality and style of art it took all the years of practice and work put into their art. The thought process that has been, you know, put into the piece way before it's even started na sketch. Um, mad- nasa brain na kasi yun ng artist and they're just putting it out. So the creative execution, their techniques, their unique uh, ways, and then their personal style that cannot be recreated by anyone else that is something that is unique only to them so kahit kahit let's say yung, yung pinaka famous na painting na recreate is yung kay Vincent van Gogh na so many people recreated the starry starry night but it doesn't hold the same value as the original starry starry night by, by Vincent van Gogh kasi um yung nag recreate didn't put the same amount of time and effort doon sa recreated painting compared dun sa original painting ni van Gogh so the real value of art lies to li- lies between the experience and skills of the artist that is put into the art itself. Not only like monetary investment, but the mm-hmm. investment with your time, with your energy, with your life. Yes, experiences, your emotions, everything. Diba? It speaks about the art. Lahat, hindi lang siya kung paano na in-imagine anong color yung ilalagay, di ba? Yeah, it's so much more than just the colors. <laughs> Hindi siya ganun kasimple. Just how the, some people may view it, di ba? So, ayun, napaka Hindi significant. Napaka meaningful. And ang daming napaka profound ng story, actually. If you will get to read between the lines. Actually, read between the lines and understand it. For you, it just took five minutes of my time to do this. But for me, it took 40 years of my existence for me to do this art with just within five minutes. Diba? That speaks a lot of an artist. So, I hope our listeners still still joins with us as Ms. Aryan really speaks. Very, ano ba, malaman, meaty <laughs> discussion. Grabe, ang, ang ganda lang ng discussion with Ms. Aryan. However, I am just a bit sad to tell you guys that 
it was the last question prepared for Miss Aryan tonight. Diba? It is come to an end. It's done. <laughs> it's done. It's done. Many realizations about this discussion and I hope you guys also feel the same way, especially if you're an artist that you're listening right now, no? It takes a lot of time for you to develop and better your work and yourself along with it, along your artwork, diba? So, maybe we should also grab this opportunity and time na to value ourselves and our art more than how we view it before. Diba? May people, people may not understand it at first, but eventually, they will, hopefully, they will be able to feel how it feels to be an artist truly an artist no siguro ito na lang mga nahinuha ko about the discussion and i'm really glad that i had the honor to speak with you and converse with you miss aryan dahil i myself really gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge on how to address especially the challenges that ito nga yung gist ng topic natin for tonight and it really inspired me as a person i am really thankful and humbled to hear this from you coming from a very successful artist at a very young age diba? thankful and honored then thankful yes. and honored to get to talk about this topic mm-hmm. if you are hearing this siguro ang pinaka point lang despite and above all the challenges don't ever stop believing always be creating Yes, exactly. So, every artist faces challenges naman talaga. Every artist has this period where they feel empty or unmotivated to make an artwork. Artists like you, like us. Dahil ako ay isang artist din, kahit ibang area lang, di ba? Artists like us feel pressured to create something striking or stunning. There are situations also or people who can consume much of our energy and affect our mental health. It can also shake our drive to work. But guys, trust your talent, trust yourself, and believe that your gift has no limits. Find something that can change your mood, like music, diba? Huwag tayo magpapadala sa ibang tao who doesn't know or understand your, your capabilities and experiences an, as an artist. I hope this and by this message, no? I hope that you don't let other people's comments or feedbacks, especially the negative ones, keep you up or make you doubt your talent or your work because you are more than that. Yun lang din yung learnings ko from, key learnings ko from the discussion tonight with Miss R. And so, for the last time, no, we would like to hear it from you, Miss R. And before we finally end this, what will be your final message to the artists? What I can say, I think, is just keep on creating. It doesn't always have to be good. It doesn't have to be the best. Just don't detach yourself from your creativity. Always... Uh, allow yourself to create without inhibition, without judgment. Just let it flow. It, uh, it's okay to make bad art if you think it's bad. Just try again, try again, and try again until you create something that you love and feel excited to create again. And that's all. <laughs> I guess that's all. Just, just always, always, always be creating. Yeah, there you have it from the heart. From our guest tonight, again, Miss Aryan Bonacqua. Thank you so much for joining us in this episode. And to all thank our listeners, so also, thank you so much for joining us and letting us in. We just hope that, just like me, you've also learned from her. So thank you so much. Again, this is French Mea Boras. The internal vice chairperson of Bicol University University Student Council, and I would like to thank Atelier Bicol University for inviting us. And I hope we see you again soon, guys. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.